I'm gonna rub y'all. How you doing? What's up, man? How you doing? Good, good. Good to see you, man. Are you tattooing? Yeah. Yeah? You taking a break? Huh? You taking a break? Um, yeah, taking a break. Your furniture came back. She's coming close. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Oh, uh, yeah, fucking, uh, we touched up some stuff. We just touched up some stuff, like, why not? We had time to do it, so we just hit some, like, blacks and some darks, darkened some of the background shading and shit. Hey, is this the one uh, that you and your, your wife? Yep. Yeah, right? Yep. Your girl? Your yeah. Girl? It, yeah, that's my that's my girl. Oh, she was doing it too? Yeah, me and her collaborated yeah, on this right? piece. So yeah. from the beginning to end, it was both needles in them, uh, and it's just super dope that I could collab with my girl on something like that. Cause she's yeah, awesome. she's one of the raw like man. It's just so crazy to be with someone that's so raw, and then we do the same style. We have the same system on how we tattoo. So it's like it'd be hard to trust anybody else to do it with. Yeah, the dark, the fucking bro. It's funny because when I was doing this shit down here, it, this all looked black. So when I was doing the texture, I was like, I don't even know if this is going to show up. But I knew when it healed, you know, you would see the difference between the black. Who won yesterday, though? Ah, oh, fucking, uh, so I'm like, I don't know who it was, but some skull back piece or something like that. But you know what the thing is? I think that category is whack because it's like uh, they're, they're judging best back, chest, or front panel, but color or black and gray. That's a lot of shit. So you're, I'm up against fucking, uh, dude, like so many different types of stuff. And it's funny, he was just talking to one of the judges and, um, and he was like asking him some shit. And then he, and he said, oh, this was one of my favorite pieces that went up on stage. And then he asked him, he was like, well, wh wh what about the other pieces was it that like outbeat this one? And he just said, it's just personal preference, basically. So it's not about whether the tattoo is good or bad. Yeah. And I'm, you, I'm, you probably feel like. that all the time. You, you answer shit that's fucking amazing, right? Yeah. And then, like, if it, if it doesn't win, then you're like, what the well, fuck? The judge don't even look at it. Just, right. Oh, I hate right. it. You need to be a judge, bro. I feel like you would be a great judge. What the hell, man? You'd be a great judge, bro, because I feel like you would look at it real yeah. sternly. Like Non-biased or nothing like non -bias, that. Non-biased, you know? Because I think I would want a judge that kind of takes into account, like, composition and, like, subject matter being different, uh, contrast, how solid the blacks are the transitions, uh, just, if they could take it into account, all that stuff, I don't see why. All dynamic? No, actually, I don't, I stopped using dynamic. Okay. Uh, Intense gray wash, so I use, um, I make all my washes out of uh, Intense dark gray wash, and I just make my washes out of that, and then I use Zuper Black for from Intense as the black. black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I water it down like 25%, okay. yeah. because you know it's thick. It's thick. Oh, it's so thick. But the key is, is like, that's a black concentrate that's uh, not pre-diluted. So like dynamic is like pre-diluted. Yeah. So they didn't dilute it at all. So when I put it in my cap, I water it down 25%. And it's the blackest black that that's I feel like you can get. Yeah. yeah, and I, we were trying to pack that black to where there would be no little, little marks or anything. And trust me, when I put this stencil on and saw that all this was going to be black, they were like, you're going to do that black? Yeah, we're doing that black. That's what's going to make the whole thing stand out, you know? But yeah, man, this has been uh, Thank you, man. Thank you, brother. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to, man. I don't know. I see you doing the, the large scale shit. I'd be wondering how you'd be laying them all out and doing all that. I don't even know how you laid out lens piece and stuff. And I'm just like, man, dude, it's crazy, bro. Yeah, bro. Stop. 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 It's just tough, though. The man. The man. What machine are you using? Bishop. Yeah, but the wand, right? The wand, right? Yeah. I saw you using a different right. machine when you were doing the, the, the Big Mag, huh? Is that, that machine's made for the Big Mag? Is that what it is? That thing was crazy. You put on skin, you just fucking take it. Oh. You have to really like hold it and like control it as it goes yeah. in and shit. Like you gotta grip it. And you were probably just using it for like, kind of like fun, right? Because like, I'd imagine it's not actually all that practical. It's, it's made for all black. Yeah. So you just were you yeah, trying to shade or were you doing black? I was doing both. Yeah. yeah. I think the, the biggest I used was a 45. But, but they need to make like a 60. I'm saying, like, you ever tried like a 45? Like 60 would definitely be more manageable than, a, than like a 120. That was 120. But bro, the, the needle, six. 30, yeah. super sharp point. I was wondering if it, I was wondering if it like picks up a lot or like rakes across the skin a lot. Guys for the loose needle, they won't sell it. Oh. They won't tell you where it's from, nothing. Why? What the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. That's kind of cool actually. I'm like, that's like, like oh my yeah. God.
Yeah. They'd be doing anything out there, that's why. We, we used a lot of 45 mag on them, and that was the biggest needle I've ever used, but, um, I mean, 45 is not that big compared to the 60s and shit, in the 120s, but chunky, it's it looks fat, size. though, because yeah. before that, I only used a 27. It's still a good size. But yeah, bro, I fucking, this is a long time, long time coming, bro. Like, I've been meaning to run into you for yeah. so long, bro. I ain't going to lie. And all of the, uh, and even the, the journey that I'm on, the path that I'm on with my shops and stuff, I had so many people tell me, it's like, man, you need to meet Robert because I, I swear you guys are on like the, the same wavelength when it comes to the business and shit. And I was like, yeah, man, for sure. So then when I met you, I was like, yeah, bro, this is tight, man. This is tight. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, I want to come out to Hawaii. We're actually wanting to come out um, in October. I never seen Wait, you went, you there in October? Yeah, I'm there, but I'm like, I'm doing a shop in Miami and Soho. So you back, yeah, but are you back and forth and shit doing all that? Um, yeah, but back, so right now I'm as good as like, I don't even know. Yeah, you don't even know the yeah. next week, next week. But, but I think once the Hawaii is done build, building, like I'll, I'll have a more of a steady schedule. Yeah, do you think, um, I don't even know how long, long your build outs be taking. Mine be long because of the fucking it's contractors. Eight months, eight months for, the, for the Hawaii yeah. one? Because they have to bring a helicopter, they gotta lift it up. Oh, you can't even do crane, I bet, because it's too tall. Yeah. Isn't it the tallest building? And the material they got shipped from the mainland. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Wow, that's expensive. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Damn. I mean, worth it though, because I see, I see it as like it's all one-time cost, and then once you're set up, you're set up, and then you put the artist in there, and then it's constant generated money and shit. But it's just like outputting so much money um, just for the mo waiting for the day you could just like make money back off of it. It's, it's crazy. I mean, you're far enough along to where you're collecting from other shops, but like uh, I'm fucking putting my all into like the second location, and then I'm gonna do the third location in San Diego. Definitely took time to like get there, but once you figure it out, it's like okay now, okay we get it. But it's the little things about the process. So even like like I said, the contractor team and like uh, your team that just manages, like your real estate agent, your your everything, all that. Once you get all that aligned, it's more easier to do another shop, another shop, another shop. So that's like the tough part for me is like the the contractor shit, but I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning, man. I'm trying, bro. And then I got a bunch of, I'm still young and I got a bunch of young guys under me. So I just got to be so consistent uh, about my decisions because they're like trusting me to, um, yeah, they're trusting me to make the right decisions. And it's like, it's a lot of pressure, but I feel like, uh, you know, I asked for it, bro. Like I wanted that shit, you know, bro. But yeah, whenever you get set up and shit, I want to come out to Hawaii. Good yeah, up, man. hell yeah, man. I'll yeah. see you. Uh, yeah, I'll see you probably at the next convention or something. Yeah.